Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny Hope, owner of Destiny Hope Candles. Um, follow our handles uh, for social media at Destiny Hope Candles on uh, TikTok and as well as Instagram. And um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And save our videos for uh, future notice if you find anything informational um, in them. I know I do that, like with people like Black Tie Barn, Tiana Coates, Mirrorbox Candle Co., uh, Stanley Handcraft, all those people when they say things that I'm going to use in the near future. So yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video and then the videos uh on my channel as well um in the past go back and watch those they are recent um and yeah so uh in this video i will be making candles for my scent of my new collection that i don't know when exactly i'll be releasing it i don't know the exact name of it either i just know it's a newer collection um that i changed my jars from this to this so and I have been getting a lot of positive feedback from this, so thank God for that. I'm getting a lot more engagement, especially on my stories on Instagram. Um, I finally got 200 followers on Instagram, and I have 500 subscribers here. And I thank you to all of you who have supported me, um, past, present, and future tenses. And also, if you if you are a candle maker, aspiring candle maker, or candle hobbyist, or you're just interested in the things that we use and just want to play around here and there, go um, and find some links in my description for uh, anything of your candle making needs. Uh, most most to majority of those links are affiliate links so I do make a small commission um, off of your purchases and there are some things like software like inventory software shipping software that is free to use um, and for my inventory software there is a paid um, program that you can use it's not necessary but there are some of course features that you know you can't get with the free version but you do have the free version you know use my links but I do make a small commission off of uh, whatever purchase that you do make um, at no charge to you of course and when I just get, you know, a small commission, you know, because, you know, I recommend the products to you and stuff like that. So, yeah. But in this video, I will be making um, ooh, <laughs> my candles for the scent Strawberry Guava, in which I tested here in my last two, uh, my last few videos. As you'll see, you know, testing uh, the scent. Uh, I try to link it, link the relevant uh, videos that I'm mentioning uh, in the description down below as well. Um, but this is my scent Coco Car, which is a coconut caramel scent. Um, and I will say that if you are a caramel slash like toffee lover, then this is a perfect scent for you. This is a very warm scent. Uh, Candle Science changed their, um, fragrance notes a bit, you know, since, you know, everything happened and stuff. So they have probably like supply chain issues and stuff like that. So I know that they have changed the recipe, I believe, in my opinion, because when I had it, the first time I bought it, it did not smell like this. It smelled more of the coconut. I got more coconut with a bit of caramel in the background, but it was mostly coconut and I loved it. It was so like... I don't know it was so it was much more fruitier than it is warm and like sweet so i'm not i'm not a fan of the coconut slash toffee scent but i am a fan of caramel um, of coconut so if you are a fan of a uh, warm co not coffee but um caramel and toffee then this is the perfect scent for you i'm going to be making six candles in total because i have a uh, enough fragrance oil i bought a four ounce um fragrance oil as well as a one ounce sample of moonflower but Turns out I didn't like that one, so I was trying to add some more because I, because I have majority of like warm, fresh scents, and I wanted something more fruity and floral and sweet and candy like. So I tested uh, Moonflower one, the newest scents, and thank God I got a sample version of that because I don't like it. It didn't do good with the hot throat, even though it was in my smaller jar that y'all have seen like here. It was in this smaller jar, but this. Well, right here, you see is number one. Number two was that one. Number one is the strawberry guava. So even the hot throw in this one, as you can tell, I like this one. I love this one. This is like a, almost a runner up. I won't say it's my favorite, but I really do enjoy this scent. Um, that did really good in that small jar. So Moonflower didn't. Um, I liked it. The cold throw and the throw that came out of the, you know, just from the bottle. Um, it was okay for the most part. It smelled more like like a perfume oil to me. But when I started burning it and I made it into a candle, it smelled more cologne -y like you know like the cologne panels that you get out of a uh, magazine back in the day yeah i didn't really enjoy it even when it was burning and the hot throw wasn't that great so yeah so um out of those testings in which you can find my uh, channel as well as pre in my previous videos strawberry guava one exceeded in uh it exceeded my expectations so i have about six to five cents of every cent and i have three i was looking to have four but hey i'm fine with three i'm just glad i didn't waste my money on getting a four ounce of uh, fragrance oil 
you know, I just jumped on the limb and had faith that, and I was hoping, you know, that it was going to work and thank God it did. So now I have a new scent that is like more candy and like fruity like. So I'm so glad about that. And I hope you guys enjoy me making it. Confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't have a mean that contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Trying to pour another cup with us. See my brother sitting mud with me. My bitch is a 10, my dad in the wind, I f that the wind. My dog just caught another body, now he's popping his hands. He caught his ass living at the cul de sac. Sliding on the Oslo and toe tag. Just in Miami, I was chilling with a Zozac. In the Rose Race, I don't need a low jack. Keep the 45, I had to hold it. Gotta ride with it, cause I'm chosen. I just pulled up, won't let me land. Plus, the dice will must have bet it on the photo tape. I remember wondering what I'm gonna eat. Pull up the Billy with no key. I've been on top for a while. That's not cheap to the moon. That's how I make one go. Turn it to boom, boom, boom. Visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm. Bought a big patty with a brand new wrist set. Mm. Excited new Maybach coupe in a butter jelly. Mm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lamp, sliding the beam. 
but working on my confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. My, see me on my love. Niggas talk shit, but they never have a noise. I've been on top for a while. Yes, I chip it to the moon. That's how I make one.
this is enough for three candles right here. And I have my fringe all already. Because doing some of my research, when I get it up to 185, I'm supposed to add it at 185 and then pour it at 170. So it doesn't really give me it doesn't give me any information about um when I'm supposed to uh, pour the fragrance oil in, but it gives it to me of where to heat the wax up to and where to uh pour the wax at. So I'm gonna assume it's either around 185 or you know, you're um like to like 170. So I don't like to do it at 185. Maybe I should. I don't know, because I I'm just not exactly sure because they don't tell you. So I'm assuming that the temperature is up to you, honestly, for the uh, most part. You can go at one or whatever degrees you want to. Uh typically I don't really go by degrees. I mean I try to, but you know, it's just I'm try I got a lot going on, and the temperature drops kind of fast and it heats back up when I mix it. So yeah, it's just a lot. Um but typically I do pour in that range, of course. I do pour mostly around like 170 something. Um, because yeah, I just wasn't sure if I was supposed to pour it at 180. I heat it up to there, but I don't, um, pour the fragrance all in just yet. But this time I'm going to try like that. So it hasn't, it doesn't, um, make a difference from what I've seen of like the temperature that I do pour the fragrance oil in. Uh, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm sure that probably is a better one, but for the most part, for what I see, it doesn't make a drastic difference to where like, you know, a candle smells you know worse or like has a less of a effect or a hot throw than the other so i'm gonna do what jeff stanley did and like once i got to the temperature he took it off added that fragrance all and poured it so i'm gonna I'm just do it like that i know y'all see me in a different area but yeah so i'm just gonna do it like that this time so i'm just gonna go ahead and add it at that temperature we're gonna try that out so as soon as it get there i'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the stove off well i can't turn it off because I, I have to make another uh round of three so what i did was also i um just go ahead and start i just go ahead and measured it beforehand to make sure i had enough because last time i didn't have enough and i had to waste like two yeah i had to waste the rest the rest of my fragrance oil and uh two times the amount of wax i wasted two candles <laughs> worth of wax and one and a half candles worth of fragrance oil so yeah, by, my, by not measuring it beforehand, measuring it inside of the wax in my last video. Go check that out. But in my last video, I did not have enough, so I wasted it. So this time, I'm going to measure beforehand. And honestly, I usually measure beforehand anyway. It's just that I didn't really have any measuring cups. So I had to go look around and find a measuring cup here. So I want to get some silicones ones that I've seen. Um, remember about Scanical using? I'm going to get those one day. I just don't have them right now. I always want to do 
but I am hot I need to get me something to drink um but thank god I got those done I'm proud of myself it wasn't much to get done but the fact that like it's not the simplest process just because of like doing a double boiler method and you gotta do the prepping and stuff like that and man just a double boiler method I have a small pouring pitcher and then I have to pour them myself and stuff like that. So those are the most tedious parts about it, especially like waiting for the wax and stuff like that. So I can't wait to make those upgrades. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and once this finishes, I'll go back and watch the rest of my videos on my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you dislike. Turn on the notification bell as well. Um, and yeah, so go follow my uh, social medias, TikTok and Instagram at Destiny Hope Candles, both for the same uh, 
name and subscribe to this channel of course if you are a candle maker or a candle hobbyist or you just you know interested in the things that we use and that we do um and whatnot go down and and click some of the links in my description they are uh affiliate links so i do make a small commission off of your purchases because i recommended it to you at no charge to you thank you for those of you who have already supported um and purchase things that I have recommended uh, to you through those affiliate links. And there are some, just some programs like inventory software, shipping software, and one that are free to use. There are some, um, like on inventory, my inventory website, um, there is a paid um, type of service on there. But you don't have to get that one. I don't have that one uh, currently. And honestly, I may not get that one. I don't know. I may not get it because I'm now interested in looking into Crafty Base now. So later on, I have a referral link for that as well. But yeah, um, yeah, thank you for those of you who have supported my page, supported me through this journey, who are with me on this journey. And when I, I remember when I was getting 20 views and now I'm averaging 100 and we're just, you know, and I have a community page. Like, I'm just so excited. And I thank you guys for believing in me um, and finding me entertaining or informational or just, you know, being able to bond with me through this uh, process and through this journey. And I thank you guys for being here and sticking around. And I thank you for the new uh, followers, the old ones, however you are supporting, whether it is... Um, by clicking those links uh purchasing through those links using my referral links that are free to use of course for the softwares commenting giving me some information just being nice overall and saying encouraging words and liking and you know even if you dislike and whatnot because you have that right for your to your opinion um and yeah just all of that support that is either you know paid or not paid like when you like when i start actually selling my candles when i release um this collection and whatnot and you know you start you know purchasing for, for me and stuff like that so whether it's paid or not paid i thank you guys so much you guys have helped me um be able to reach so many goals on youtube alone and on instagram like i'm just so grateful thank god i've been able to do this i hope this is my calling and whatnot just yeah so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna stop ranting but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a blessed day have a blessed life of course and i love you guys and see you next time I've been right, right, I really don't like, I've been right, right, right.